horrible. I walk out to the outfield and I have to vomit and it's just... So a question I get asked a lot from young girls is what's the one thing you would do differently when you were younger? And the answer is so easy for me. It's nutrition. It's nutrition. It's refueling. It's recovery. I wish I paid more attention to the things that I was putting into my body, the things that I consumed. I wish I stayed more hydrated, drink more water. Towards the end of my playing career, I started to pay a little bit more attention to it, but it was literally an abrupt change. And I wish I had started these earlier habits a little bit earlier in my playing career. So make sure you stay tuned. I'm gonna give you some suggestions that can you can incorporate today into your eating habits. So the first thing is more fruits and veggies, smoothies, protein powder. Okay, so today I'm gonna actually share with you my favorite smoothie recipe. Now, I didn't do this when I was a player. I've done it much more in my post-playing career, but I wish that I would have done this while I was playing. It gives me all of my nutrients. I get my fruits, I get my veggies. So here are some of the ingredients. I use strawberries, um, and I kind of eyeball everything, but I think if you did like half of a cup, that would be enough. I do mangoes, same thing, half of a cup. And then I probably just, a handful of kale, a handful of spinach. I mix that together, that's my veggies. And I always add chia seeds, flaxseed meal. I get these both at Trader Joe's, you can get them anywhere. I got my coconut water. I like to add coconut water as opposed to regular water, just gives it a little bit more flavor. And I love bananas. I don't, and a fun fact about me, I don't actually like to eat bananas, but I love putting bananas into my smoothies. I don't know, call me weird. I also love protein powder. This is Prevenex. If you guys have not heard about Prevenex, you must. This is a must, must, must. Special shout out to Prevenex. I love their protein powder. I have been using it for two years now, almost three years. And what I love about this is it's high in protein, low in fat, low in sugar. So it's a great supplement. It actually tastes really good. It's chocolate flavor. So I highly, highly recommend Prevenex and all of their products. Again, I talked about their joint health. This was huge my last year playing. I had bad knees. They were uh, giving me problems. So taking care of your joints. Probiotic is always great. And they also have multivitamins and they have Omega Plus. So these are also great, great products. And please, please look them up. Second thing that you guys can start to incorporate is drink more water. Oh my gosh, this is definitely one of the things that I wish that I did more of. So, training on the national team, we just finished a hard, hard practice. We're in Sacramento, it's a hot, hot day. And towards the end of practice, I just start to feel dizzy. I start to feel sick. I start to get the chills. It's horrible. I walk out to the outfield and I have to vomit and it's just, it's embarrassing. I'm in front of all of my teammates. I'm in front of the coach that allowed us to practice on this field. It's just a really, really embarrassing story. But what ended up happening is I had to be rushed to the hospital because I was dehydrated, you guys. And one of the things that I wish that I would have done is not waited till I was thirsty to drink water. I wish that I would have drank water continuously throughout the day. And what I would do is I would drink coffee, drink orange juice. I never drank sodas, but I would wait until practice and when I was doing activity to drink water. And by then it's literally too late. So what ended up happening, I was dehydrated. It was just, it turned out to be kind of a funny joke, but one of the things that I don't wish upon anybody. So that is my point number two, make sure you stay hydrated, drink more water. And my last and final point is to make sure you are mindful of your portions. Now this is huge. So it's so funny because as athletes, we kind of joke, we can, you know, especially softball players. I know with my teammates, we're like, we like food. We are not shameful about our food, but making sure that you are mindful of your portions, just because you have a whole hamburger, Yes, you probably shouldn't be eating hamburger, but maybe eat half of the hamburger. Be mindful of your portions because you don't have to eat a whole bunch. And on top of that, exercise doesn't cancel out what you ate. Um, eat, what you're putting into your body is so important. And so if we could be mindful of the portions that we're eating, it's gonna make it so much better. 
Okay, so I've added the entire banana. I like to use a whole banana because I like bananas in my shake. I'm going to add some coconut water. Again, I eyeball it, but let's say about a cup's worth. Um, we like to fill this up. I love coconut water. And then I'm gonna use some flaxseed. And I always use a, uh, one tablespoon of that. One tablespoon of flaxseed. And one tablespoon of chia seeds. Flaxseed is really good for fiber and it's just a good supplement to make sure you get all of your fiber in. Then I'm going to use my Prevenex protein powder. And I'm another fun Tasha fact, I hate taking pills. And so Prevenex has a lot of supplements, they're all pills, but my two favorites are the probiotic and the joint health. So I put them into my smoothie. I cheat a little bit. So I put them in here and I kind of grind it up. It's like I'm like a baby. I almost need a, it's like my baby food. Okay, and once that's all ready to go, then it's ready to put this thing to work. Voila, amazing, fantastic, that's amazing. Learn about nutrition now. Try to cut something out like sodas, fried food, make it a habit now. I want you guys to leave below in the comments a thing that you wanna incorporate into your diet or something that you're going to eliminate. Now you have some ideas on what you can incorporate and you gotta do it now. Don't wait till you're an adult or don't wait till something bad happens, do it today. So I have a three part mini video series on the slapping basics. Make sure you download it from the link below. Also, if you want to join a community of softball parents, coaches, and players, and have conversations on slap hitting, I have a secret society and a free Facebook group that we share tips, drills, motivation, all things slapping. So make sure you hit the link below and I would love to see you inside the group. If you liked this video, please let me know by commenting, liking, or sharing this video. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more videos. So thank you for tuning in and see you next time.